Oklahoma 4-H. My name is Kathleen Taylor and I work at the State 4-H office and my responsibilities are leadership and civic engagement. Other than St. Patrick's Day for the obvious reason, Christmas is my favorite holiday. And I know in 2020 Christmas is going to look a little different than it has in years past, but today I'm going to give you an idea to share with your family to make a really fun poke game. Have you ever seen The Price is Right? I love the punch game on Price is Right. So this Oh Christmas Tree punch game would make a great addition to any Christmas gathering, a family game night, or anything else that you choose to do with it. So to get started, we're gonna need a piece of foam board and I would lay it flat. I've got it propped up just to show you. You can make any design. Today I made a Christmas tree to celebrate Christmas, but you can make any design. Maybe your 4-H project is beef. Maybe you could lay out a cow or find something that you like. Maybe a smiley face. You could put a lot more cups on here too. The possibilities are endless with this project. Very simple supplies. In fact, we're reusing some supplies that we had here at the office, like this foam board. So you're gonna need a piece of foam board, or you could use one of these science display boards and it would hold up itself. You're gonna need some paper cups like you would use for a party. I obviously have green and red. You're gonna need some tissue paper. Whatever colors you choose, you can make it colorful. And um, I'll show you an easy way to cut it into circles here in just a minute. You're gonna need scissors, an ink pen, a stapler, something to trace with, some rubber bands, and a hot glue gun, or your parents to help you with hot gluing. So, you're gonna glue, you're gonna take a little bit of hot glue, or your parents help with the hot glue. You're gonna run it along the bottom edge of this cup then you're going to quickly place it on there. I was a little skeptical about the hot glue at first. I didn't think it would hold, but it held up really well. Then you're going to let it dry. Set it aside, do your chores, do something else, um, but step away and then come back to it. Okay, so now we've got to prepare our cups. So they're glued on our board, but we need to get these lovely pieces of paper over it. So I've already cut this tissue paper in half. I took the whole bundle of tissue paper. I think, I think we got it at Dollar Tree, so it's not a very expensive thing. I cut the whole package in half. This half, I'm going to fold in half again. Now, here's where comes our stapler so that we can cut lots of pieces of paper at a time so we're not cutting a ton of circles all at once. I'm gonna take my stapler and I'm gonna staple these into a packet. So I've got a packet of paper. Make sure to get all the layers in there. There's those layers. I'm gonna staple it. You might wanna throw a staple in the middle of the line. So I've got my packet made. And then I'm gonna use this plate. It was a good template for a circle. I tried a couple of other things that didn't work so great. But you want your circle to be bigger than your cup. See that fits right on top. So our circle's gonna be this big and our cup is this big. So you're gonna take your circle, put it in the middle, trace around it. And then, thank you plate. Then we're gonna take our scissors, being very careful using good scissor safety, and we're gonna cut around our circle. Okay, I've got my circles cut out. I'm gonna set my trash aside. You can see I've got a whole lot of circles now. That saved us a bunch of time because you're gonna need one piece of tissue paper for each cup you've hot glued on your board. So, I'm gonna give you a couple of ideas. So, it wouldn't be fun to just punch out this non, nothing in it cup. 
I mean, it might be fun, I don't know. You, it could be a lot of fun, but there's a lot of fun things you could do. You could put little toys in here. I found this slime at the dollar store that fits in there. You could go with the season and a little hand sanitizer. Or I've got this gift card fits in there. Or you could even put dollar bills and change in there, whatever you want. Or one of my favorite things that you could do with this is put good deeds for the day. Um, kind of like a random acts of kindness and you could put slips of paper in there and do that random act of kindness that day. So once you've got all of your cups filled, remember they're on the foam board. So then you're gonna take this round of tissue paper, cover your cup. We're gonna pull it tight, but not too tight. I broke several pieces of uh, tissue paper as I was making mine. And then we're gonna take a rubber band, real stretchy. And depending upon the size of your rubber band, my rubber bands, I've gotta wrap that twice. And then you've got your punch game. You could make this game and play with your family. You could have lots of fun. I would love to see pictures of your punch game or even a video of your family playing your Oh Christmas Tree punch game. So let's see what kind of prize I get. Oh, I got something. Play-Doh. Thank you, Oklahoma 4-H. Have a Merry Christmas. Stay safe and we'll see you soon.